shot. He's gone on the left hand. Left hand from Joyce. And is he going to get up? I'm not sure he is. And he's counted out. It's all over. Joe Joyce by knockout in the 11th round. Welcome back to the Big John Chinese sit down. And this time, we are joined by the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Uh, sweet and sour, pork sweet and sour, prawns sweet and sour, chicken. The juggernaut joins us for a Chinese. Bosh. Episode three. Ooh, love me. Pathetic. Bosh. Is here. Right, it's uh, Big John. I'm just so pleased that Joe Joyce has joined us on our Chinese sit down. I'm going to give him this massive bottle of champagne. Joe, thank you very much, my friend. Oh, look here. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh, it's not that big, John. Not that big? It's massive, Joe. Not for the juggernaut. Not for the juggernaut. Six foot six and built like a brick shit ass. If you caught him sh in your missus, you just give him an high five and tell him he's doing a good job. The juggernaut's in Romford, look. The juggernaut had landed in Romford, and when in Romford, there's only one place to be the Blue Orchid Restaurant. Big John and Joe Joyce enter the building. That's a heavyweight lineup like no other. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. You alright? Seeing Big John walk into your local Chinese was like seeing Earl and Ireland having a kickabout in your local park. Are you a fool? No, I said. Oh, How are you? Are you alright? I don't know. Oh, no, yeah. And the owners of the Blue Orchid loved it. And that was important, because the last thing you wanted to do was get on the wrong side of these two. Ruthless Richard and Dangerous Daniel. They'd been in the Chinese takeaway game for donkey's years, and they'd batter you like a chicken ball if they had a reason to. So Big John didn't give him a reason. Instead, he brought Joe Joyce, heavyweight boxing monster, through their doors for a mega Chinese. And trust me, it was going to be mega. Mega bash. Right, we are grateful. We're very grateful we've got Big Joe here, the juggernaut. He's going to have a Chinese feast with us tonight. We've got chicken balls, prawn balls, chips, prawn crackers. We've got Kung Po prawn, king prawn in beef and black bean, mixed veg, beef in black bean, sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style, egg fried rice, boiled rice, sweet and sour pork Hong Kong style, roast duck in plum, in plum sauce, special dish from Blue Orchid, Singapore rice noodles, special fried rice, chicken charming, plain charming, roast duck Chinese style, shredded chili beef, salt and chili king prawn, salt and chili chicken, curry sauce, barbecue sauce, bash. The wheels were in motion, and this train was a-rolling. But there's one man I forgot to introduce, Joe Joyce's manager, a menace to society, Sugar Shane the Pain Watson. There's more to this man than meets the eye, and he was living the dream. Living the dream, baby. He led a double life out in Tenerife, where he was known as King of the Reef, and he'd earned this name for underwater bare-knuckle fights at Kaluna Beach Club. His undefeated reign had earned him notoriety and respect all across the island. So Sugar Shane was a dangerous man, and that's just a heads up, in case you're ever unlucky enough to bump into him. But back to the Chinese. I told you it'd be mega, and mega it was. Now look at this. The WBO number two heavyweight in the world was tucking into a Chinese at Big John's house. It don't get much better than that. Look at this, I've been pushed out. Look, this don't normally happen. The thing is, I'm not going to push Joe out of the way. But look at Shane, look, centrepiece. Look, what's going on, Shane? Yeah. Look, I'm going healthy though. Boiled rice. Right, well you just cut in front of me. Boiled rice for me, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not being greedy tonight, just a little just bit. Just cut into my spot. Johnny, you snooze, you lose. I'm only having a little bit. Big John, don't make me laugh. We know you're not just having a little bit. You've never just had a little bit. It's go big or go home. And it's dog time, baby. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. But the point still stands. It was go time. That's beef. That's uh, sweet and sour pork Hong Kong style, it looks like. Johnny, open the chicken. Chicken in there. Chinese with Joe Joyce, the juggernaut. Oh, go cool, on then. Bash. So, Shane, do you have Chinese a lot? Yeah, I have Chinese quite a bit. Not, not as often as you, but I have one uh, every couple of weeks, I'd have one. Chinese is not as good as the blue orchid that I have around me either. The blue, the blue, orchid, the blue orchid when you're eating is unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's still. Oh, did we not get spicy pork? I don't know where it is. Didn't I ordered order it. it. I, mm -hmm. it. I forgot the best dish. Oh, I've copped up. I was ordering four nights in a row. It's done me. I said, when I went to Vegas, lucky enough, I went out there for it. I've never seen you train as hard as when you was out there. You know, like, he was like literally shattered. Yeah, yeah. When he was doing that SNC at the thing and 
and the sparring was unbelievable, wasn't it? Well, I, liked, I liked our little trip to, uh, was it the win, wasn't it? Yeah, the win, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah for a little cool. bre- breakfast, like, yeah. through, the, through the no entry and, like... Hey, when they sat in the buffet, sat down in the buffet, didn't pay anything. It was like Labour Day or something in America, massive queues. They just all walked in, all sat there, and then they got rumbled at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You paid so many dollars for a chicken burger, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I can't believe that. They got me right where they wanted me there, mate. <laughs> Two burgers. They weren't even that good or big either. Seventy dollars. And the geezer uh the trick to ask for tips after, isn't it? I was for a tip. Oh, yeah, I was like, mate, yeah, I think the tip's in that place. What's the name of that burger? <laughs> What's the name of that burger place we went to? Wahlberg's, wasn't it? Wahlberg's. Yeah, that was right. That was good. Yeah. yeah. How good is the Wynn Hotel? Oh, it's fantastic. How good is the Wynn Hotel? The Wynn Hotel is better than an hand job. <laughs> <laughs> Bosh. Man, you in the window the last time? Did the cleaner come up? Oh yeah. I was sitting in my hotel room. We was on the twenty-fifth floor. Sitting in my hotel room. Come out the pool. It was like 50, 48 degrees. Just had a shower. I'm sitting there, SBN, start bollock naked, and the bloody window cleaner comes down on the thing. <laughs> you know, when I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm thinking, like, first of all, I could just see his legs. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm thinking, oh my god. <laughs> But would he be able to see in? Is it two way? Yeah, definitely could see He'd be able to see in, he's up close. Yeah. By the time he got down, I was sitting there all spread. <laughs> <laughs> What's the chances of that, though? What's the chances of that? Because the day before, we said, I wonder how they, how they <laughs> clean it. Saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, how big that building is, and he's at my bloody window cleaning it when I'm getting out there. What did you do when he was there? Did you sit there? I just, like, obviously, you see his legs come down because it goes in stages, and I just thought, oh, what can I do? I had to get dressed. You know, when you're having a shower, you're just relaxing. He just sat there waiting for him to leave. I just sat there, yeah. Let, let it all hang out. You have out the shower. I'm just me and Mum in the room. Oh, let it all hang out. I'm on the 25th floor, I mean, no one's going to see me. Yeah. Well, if you could see it. Lovely. Bloody hell, look, he's cleared it off yeah, already. Yeah. What Chinese? <laughs> Disappeared. Double dip, Joe, there's more up there. I wouldn't have to ask me twice. Go on, go up there. <laughs> the big juggernaut was going for seconds. Here we go. Here we go. Big, big, big juggernaut, this is battle, the art of war He's coming for the top, he ain't never gonna stop Never Six foot six, two fists of rock Bush. He'll hit you in the temple with the perfect shot He's the juggernaut, juggernaut. and he can't be stopped he's Big right cross, he'll sit you down Here we go Joe Joyce is in town You better duck, lean and bop from side to side Cause he can hit you with the left or right Two fists of iron, putting dents in skulls Crash bang wallop, the opponent folds Relentless attack, he never turns back Crack to the ribs, that's a thunderous smack Then he'll dance in the ring with the capo wearer Victory Dance after the tear up. Big, big, big juggernaut. juggernaut. Jab, jab right to the floor. Have you uh, been totally relaxing since the Parker fight? Have you still been training or? Yeah, I've been training a bit in Ellsfield. Yeah, well, you've been training um, in Ellsfield and also went to Vegas, didn't you? Mm. Oh, yeah, you went, you went yeah. back to Vegas, didn't you? Yeah, for three weeks, yeah, learning some. So less pressure, just working, just on, working on stuff. Like I remember the first time I got dropped off when I went to watch the sparring. Charlotte stayed in the hotel. You gave me the address. Yeah, yeah. Went there, the cab's coming, couldn't find where it was. It's all grids, isn't it? Yeah. It was like about 20 minutes away from the street. <coughs> and we pull up and everything's in darkness. And there's a car with like five Hispanics in it, all the tattoos, like all the bandanas. And the cab driver said to me, if I put you out now, they'll mug you or shoot you. And I'm thinking, Great. And then all of a sudden, I see the door open and you come out. I said, I'm all right now, Shane's here. Shane, look after me. Imagine that, we're just we're sparring and then just see a big car go past with Big John hanging out the back. Of the yeah. <laughs> well, I said to the cab driver, I said, mate, don't worry about me. If you let me out, I'm going to fuck them up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the thing is, that Vegas, like I've seen it with my own eyes, different class out there, isn't it? For the training, just different, men- different mentality. So you've got the yeah, it's like, it's a, yeah, it's an exciting place to be. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of boxers as well, boxers, yeah, a lot of gyms. Yeah, who's it a lot, a lot of sports? I mean, in general, like, there's a lot of the Raiders and like. I'm thinking, yeah. I couldn't believe it when uh, when we come back from the UFC gym, we went past the uh, the stadium for the American football. It's oh, like a Darth Vader, like a Darth, all giants, all giants, like a Darth Vader yeah, helmet, yeah. isn't it? All black, all giant, all giant, yeah, all, all giant. black all the way around. It's just unbelievable. As you say, it's just like. To be there. Yeah. Oh, I'm watching the game. Puts you on a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Shane, you've been out with Johnny a few times. Can you explain to us why he's so bad with birds? 
Do you know why? Because we make deals when we go out that you can't show your social media and your blue tick and use that as a way to get the girl. And he does, does he? Yeah, well, he, he, does, he does that time. Tell them about Vegas. Tell them about Vegas. District 9. <laughs> There's a um, Korean place that was actually quite big to go for food and we'd go there after uh, a um, train session whatever. And Johnny's gone there a few times now and I don't, he always thinks that girls iron him up. And uh, she, it turns out she obviously wouldn't because he got her Instagram and by the time he got home you were blocked on her, weren't you? She blocked me. That's her last impression. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, we'll go out, we'll go out somewhere on the strip the next day. And she said, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then I got home, checked my phone, so we give her a message, blocked. So I can't go back to District 9. Yeah, that's it. That's what actually like going there as well. Must have been a boyfriend, Johnny. That's why Yeah, I'm probably, Mum, yeah. 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 Oh, all right, Mum. All right, Mum. Didn't you do the splits in Tenerife, Johnny? <laughs> what? Didn't you do the splits? The splits? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what's that? What's that? What? 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 Pray tell. Pray tell. Did you talk about you in Tenerife? Yeah, let's talk about Shane in Tenerife. This is when you play some footage of Shane in Tenerife on the podcast. Stop it! Oh, Scott, you're running around the pool. Mate. Joe, you was a cheerleader at University, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, how did that come about? You joined a cheerleader? I, yeah, I, I, was, um, I wanted to do like American football or maybe athletics. Yeah. But like I talked to the coaches and that and they were saying, no, you need to be there for the whole year. Well, I was only there for five months. <coughs> and then I was like chatting to this girl, yeah. Jessica. And she was like, yeah. Um, I like, was talking about gymna like, gymnastics. And I was like, yeah, I, was, I always wanted to do, be able to do a somersault and like, yeah. Um, backflips and, back yeah. and stuff like that. I said, oh, you should, uh, I'm a cheerleader, you should come to training or whatever, come to practice. I was like, all right. I bet you said yes. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So He's then uh, I went there and like, I did one session, I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is where I fit in life yeah. Yeah. while I'm here. <laughs> okay. You might as well. Like, for, 30, 30, like to, 30 to 6 guys, I think, 5 or 6 guys. 5 guys and the rest like of them. Like 30, so, 30 yeah. something girls, yeah. I bet that's that was fun. Fun. So you, that you, uh, Jordan, like the first, the first move, like the Jordan. first move I learnt was called the chair. So the, so the bird's sitting on your hand like that. I was like, oh, this is, uh, this is all right. <laughs> I can get used to this. Johnny, you're definitely gonna be signing up to aren't you? Yeah, I've already signed up. Right, Joe, I've got a good few questions. I'll put it out on Instagram. Right, right, questions for Joe Joyce, and I've had questions for each guest, and you have probably got four or five times as much as anybody else. So that's a good thing, isn't it? I'll go through them. We'll ask a few, and you got to answer honestly. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, let me find them photos. I took photos of them because I knew they'd be lost. Technology. Joe, this is from Zach Boyle. Do you know Zach Boyle? Huh? He's a good fan yeah. of John. He's, he's a big fan of boxing. Yeah. Goes right. to a lot of shows. He's probably been to a few of your fights. He's a good man. I'll ask both of you this, actually, because it's a good question. If you could be at ringside for any fight, past and present, that's been... Any fight that could be made, or any fight that's been, where, what would it be and why? Let Shane go first. Um, Too long, Joe. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, rumble in the jungle? I don't know. Yeah. No, no, maybe not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Come on, Shane. Um, it's quite a good question, but it's quite yeah, hard I wanna to get think it. I wanna... of. Hagler Hearns, man. It has to be Hagler Hearns. Yeah. Absolutely. Three run shootouts. What or, you uh, see? or Mickey Ward and. Um, Gatty. Gatty. Or Gatty Ward. Gatty. Right, so let's, let's put that one to bed. Who would you be, Johnny? Ron Lyle, George Foreman. Yeah. Great fight. Ron yeah. Lyle, great fight. Heavyweight, classic. Uh, or David Brent versus Shane Watson. Yeah. Yeah. Naughty. That's a 50-50. Yeah. Naughty. Yeah. Now we're Cold. talking. Or David Brent versus Big D. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Hey, what about you? What's your fight? Uh, probably KSI versus Jake Paul. Yeah, oh, fine. Yeah. Right. Legacy fight. Right. Right. Before we move on. You're, I'll speak to your dad after the fight, and he said that um, your granddad was a strong man as well. Like, yeah, he used, to, he used to balance stuff on his chin. Apparently, they used to do like, they used to have a circle. Yeah, I've seen like with uh, He used to do like handstands and, yeah. and stuff to lose a... What, like proper strong man in like the fair and all that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 get your strength from and stuff. Yeah. Good, good chin. Oh. Yeah, good chin. <laughs> good chin. Will, yeah. Will's yeah. balanced a few things on his chin, ain't you, Will? What does that mean? Pair of b****s. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Right, this is for Joe Joyce. This is from Carl Watson. Nice. It's your brother, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How the f do you put up with Shane? Oh, that's a good question. That is a very good question. Right, it's not the question, though, oh, but no. I thought I'd put that in. Right, Joe, who do you want if you could pick out of Fury, AJ, or Usyk right now? Next fight, who would it be if you could pick? Fury. Fury, because yeah. he's like. Yeah, so I mean, it's a, it's the a hardest fight. Yeah, he's a top. 
I don't know, or who's sick? Like, closely followed by who's sick because he's got more belts. Yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Fury, uh, Fury. But yeah, Fury. Fury's a bigger fight. For me, Fury. Fury. For yeah. me, Fury is number one. Yeah. And for you to fight him, do you know what I mean? But even says it himself. You give him the hardest fight out there. At this present time, you are the hardest one for him to fight. So that'd be a good fight. So. And yeah. I'm hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've got to just tell him, you get to him in the face off, I'm well hard. Yeah. Well, no, you've got to say, I've had a Chinese man, John and Johnny. I'm feeling well hard. Well hard. Yeah. I'm well hard. Yeah. But I think Tyson knows that you will be the toughest fight out there. I, I really do. looking at you after the Parker fight, like after the win, he gave you a nod, didn't he? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like that's when he. That shot. was funny because he like, was yeah. he was there that's... cheering for Parker shouting, and we was there we cheering was for you shouting. Yeah. And like, but you can't help it, can you? Because no. you just like. But we said to him before and after, it's like it's two Joe Parker's a nice bloke as well, isn't he? So yeah. It's like, yeah. But you're our mate, sport, so it's you so know, you, know you've got to cheer for him. You, you got you got yeah, to sit down, didn't you? Yeah. You got told to sit down when you cheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Joseph wait, there's that, wait, there's an altercation, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell him about the altercation. Yeah, the altercation where, where he bottled it. Part of the team, innit? Part of the team. Oh, you, what's your yeah. job? Yeah. Chief Operating Officer, SM. Oh, you, for real? Yeah. yeah. I thought you used to do media. Used to. Well, you've you been talking to. a whole lot of crap. Yeah, we've all been talking, haven't we? Who? What for have real? you been saying? What have I been talking about? Yeah. About what? You're saying a whole lot of crap. I've been talking crap. That's what the box is about, isn't it? Oh, so you're just promoting All the hype. It? Just promoting it? What everyone does? Management, trainers. What's he been Fire. saying? Huh? What's he been saying that you've said? It's just a whole lot of crap. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Got a handshake, with respect. Uh, listen, we're just having fun. Just fun. Just a bit of fun. Fun in games. That's it. He was going to get a Parker mask and tell someone to come in and say, oh, we've got a special guest. He's coming, actually, tonight. Yeah. Good, mate, bring him down. I've got, I've got, I've got dust to what's sell it, with him. What's, so. it? Oh. what's it? What's it? Call like? out to Joe Parker. Mate, I'll call him out. What's it feel <laughs> like to shit yourself yeah. on, like, all social on media TV. platforms? And oh, all mate, everyone media. knows I'm hard, just to get this out of the way, yeah? <laughs> and uh, everyone knows I would not bottle it from Joseph Parker, <laughs> right, yeah? I was setting it in stone what was going to happen to him on Saturday night. I looked him in the eyes and he walked away, yeah? I didn't walk away, <laughs> I stood my ground. And he said sorry to me in the ring after, yeah? No, I was like, no, he didn't really. <laughs> Joseph, I heard you're back in Manchester and you want to watch yourself. That's a wise idea. No, but I actually explained the whole situation with that whole thing, right? Yeah. Oh, here goes. Here goes. Genuinely, here goes. I actually was not scared, right? Number one. Oh, yeah. yeah, Number one, I'll tell you why, right? He had been the last man in that room who was going to hit me, yeah? Like a few days before a fight, so I'm not going to be scared of him, yeah? What would you say? Well then, well now. Well now. I was trying to impersonate David Brent. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, well done, Shane. Listen, all I'll say, I'll finish this on here. He might not have been scared, but the eyes never lie. And you fing sh yourself. Right, Justin? Yeah, right. Oh, come on, Justin. Yeah. Your thoughts from Daniel Dubois' latest fight, or are you not really bothered? <laughs> well, it was nearly, I don't know, that was a mad fight, because we uh, me and Adam was up the top there, in a, like the top of uh, yeah, the hospitality bit, and then we see um, Dubois like getting like three counts in the first round, we're like, yeah. we need to get down there, so we yeah. like got in the lift, ran down back down to ringside and that, and then it looked like Dubois got back on top again and stopped his guy, but... Yeah. Funny, funny like, knockdowns as well, weren't they? Because the first, yeah, like, the first one was, but the other ones yeah. was just sort of going down, wasn't it? Getting caught on top of heads. And like, it was, must have been cold because I, I boxed outside in Stevenage, and that was cold. That yeah, was yeah. a mid, that middle, it was in the middle of winter. Yeah. Fair play to him. He came yeah. back and got the job done. He did, yeah. Good question here, Harry Goodfield. Are you scared of anything in life or in the ring? Are you scared? What scares you in life? Anything? Uh, not, not being successful. Yeah, that's a good. So it drives you on. Yeah, yeah. Wasting your potential. Stuff, yeah. potential. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Shane, are you scared of anything in life? Uh, Joe, when he gets up angry. Oh yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Oh my God. You but said this it. Is, you uh, said this is my second time in Vegas. Yeah. So this is for the hammer camp. I'm, I'm coming a bit late. Um, 
And I didn't realise. The thing is, I've got the best hearing. So I don't realise how loud I'm speaking sometimes. Hey, well, did he, well, did he say he's got the best hearing or he hasn't got he the best hearing? He hasn't got the best hearing. He definitely hasn't got the best hearing. Yeah. Yeah. I know this as well. Then at about five in the morning, I've got a phone call from Florian Marku, like going on about something. And then uh, but obviously five o'clock in the morning back home is like quite into the afternoon. And then um, I didn't realise how loud I was speaking. I must have woke Joe up at like five in the morning and he's come through the door like the whole like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> And how loud his voice is. I was like, oh, you got to get up. He woke you up. He woke you up. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I need my sleep. Yeah. Like, you just want to sleep as long as you possibly can. And I was thinking it was jet lagged as well. Yeah. Then I got it. What was your going through your mind when Joe Joyce comes l- through the door? Mate, if you thought I was scared when Parker broke my face, you should have seen me that day. <laughs> 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 so I, had to, I had to reassure him and get him from under the bed. Yeah, yeah, so he's actually okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is from Walkins Hall. Who would win a heavyweight division Royal Rumble? Is that when you just all go in? And you've got to throw each other over the ropes. Mate. Got all so going. it's all in one. I'd be quite interested room. actually. Who? I'd be quite interested. I think Joe would be good because he's yeah, a good. He's strong, you've got to be strong. So watch out for Wilder at the back of the head. Like. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Um, uh, who else would be? I think Usyk would like sort of just stay out of the way. Yeah, he yeah, would like stay out the way. Small guy. I think like he'd do like reversals and like spin you over yeah. the rope. Uh, who would you team up with in the Royal Rumble? Oh. You've got to go for a Frank Warren fighter. Yeah, I guess Fury, yeah. Fury, yeah. Joyce and Fury versus the rest of them. Yeah. 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 You know, they look at each other in the eyes at the end, yeah. like, what do we do now? Yeah. It's a similar one. Isaac Arnold, 94. That's his Instagram name, by the way. Any regrets with turning pro late in your career? Do you still feel top of your game? And he says, bosh, at the end of it. No, I think, for me, it was like, what I needed to do is, yeah. like, like, I hadn't been in the sport that long, and I'd use my, I used, to, like, GB, like, I was, I was staying in GB, walking around the world on WSB. So you built up all the experience. The experience, and, and yeah. like, the years, like, you can yeah. take a long time to... To be a, but he says he's still on top of your game. I've seen you spar yeah. for the last two, three years now. Yeah, I'm still on top of your game. I think you're better than I think, you've I, ever been. Yeah, yeah. I, think I always yeah. want to improve. And yeah. Like, yeah. That's why I was on that pre camp with Salas, like just working yeah, on little, stuff. Yeah, working on little yeah. bits. Yeah, you, you, you're definitely you the best well, I've ever I said it, and when you said it, like, your hand speed's improved as well. Like, tapping, tapping, bang. So, like, generally with Salas, so like, two, three camps in a row, so it's like the hammer camp. And he's a, he's a great coach, isn't he? He's yeah, a great yeah. coach. You can't best, you keep best, building when you best, have su- successive <coughs> camps with him. Right, another question. Stevie Russell, are you a Bosch soldier? Bosch! <laughs> Bosch! That's that question oh, answered. I've got, got Joe Hoodie. Do you want one of them, Joe? Huh? Do you want one of these? But, uh, yeah, but, yeah, charge yeah, you off twice with What size is that? <laughs> this is a, soon as I'm a big bloke, this is a 5XL. I've got you the same size, it might be too big. <laughs> might be too big. Oh, I don't think it'd be too big. It'd be right like around the house, wouldn't it? You know? Right, who do you, this is from R. Dan, R Daniels 88. Who do you think is the easiest fight out of Wilder and Usyk for you? It's a good question because they're both <coughs> tough in their own yeah. Right. I'm I'm less likely to get knocked out by Usyk. Yeah. Um, but and I'm less likely to get outboxed by Wilder. Wilder so they so, both got yeah. But I'd say Usyk. What is the least? I think I think Wilder will beat Usyk. Yeah. I yeah. disagree. I think if you can get on Wilder's chest, which is Joe's strongest game, closing yeah. the gap and getting on chest, I think he could he could murder Wilder in two yeah. three rounds. But it's also that risk factor, isn't it, of the power. That's the only thing. That seven or eight seconds to get across the other side of the ring is the most dangerous part of that yeah. Yeah. round every single time. He's Once got, he's there, got, he won't be able to get away. He's got a lot of power, really. We all know Joe's got punch resistance. Fury pushed yeah, yeah. Wilder back. Joe's going to be able to push Wilder back yeah. on the back foot. And he's not the same fighter when he's on the back foot, is he? No, no. no. And he can't punch him in the pocket at all, so he can only punch from range. But but then he's like working on stuff now, so yeah, it might, might be different. Spot, with yeah. a, it might be a different animal now. Right, have we got any questions from the gallery? Mark, you got a question? Mine would have just been about Fury. Fury. Everyone's talking about Joe and Fury, aren't they? So we want to see, yeah. Choice. Yeah. Fury choice. Yeah. yeah. Charlotte, have you got a question? Yeah, did you enjoy Chinese, Joe? Right, yeah. for the camera, did you enjoy your Chinese, Joe? Yes, I enjoyed my Chinese, but... And he double dipped. Du- but double bosh. Sure Henry, have you got a question for Joe? If you weren't going to be a professional boxer, what, what would you have been? And also, what, what were your plans for after boxing? After oh. Uh, if I wasn't a boxer, I, well, I was trying to be an athletic, uh, athlete to go to go to the Olympics. I, I wait, wait. Okay, let's let's go right back, <laughs> way back to the beginning. So originally, <laughs> when I from the school, I was thinking about being an electrician, but then I got a D in math, so that so then I, <laughs> I tried to retake it, and I was a few marks off. 
again, and, uh, and I didn't get it. So, um, yeah. Uh, and, and obviously, the next one was like uh, to be an athlete and athletic, uh, the athlete that goes to the Olympics and gets the medals, but I couldn't get there. So I, but what when I, what, yeah, what yeah, track and field, track and field, yeah. lo, uh, long jump, triple jump. Yeah, well, I, I got a bronze in the uh, shot put, but that's, really? that's as far as I got. A bit of relays and. And you played a bit of rugby, rugby, Joe, didn't you? Played lots of rugby, yeah. yeah. Diving, it's all swimming, swimming yeah. and diving. Bloody hell! Except like swimming's a bit. Long, He's a bit too good at these. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm diving though, but I could have been next to Tom Daly doing all. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, imagine, yeah. imagine that, imagine that duo. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Daly. <laughs> Has anyone got any questions for Shane? Shane. Was that? Yeah. yeah. Tell us more about what happened in Tenerife. Tell us all about what happened, mate. He's only three days. Yeah. Be more specific. No, you know what? He's going to ask that and then put a clip of you running around the pool <laughs> when you was drunk. Did you have a last drink in Tenerife? I did. I, I took off a few times. I'm taking off. Did you have yeah. sunburn or not? Nah, not sunburn. Jesus Christ. What? what are you doing? <laughs> Why didn't Shane wear sun cream in 45 degrees heat in Las Vegas? Good Shane, question. Why did you not wear sun cream in 45 degrees heat in Las Vegas? Is it because you knew Charlotte would rub it in on you rather seductively? It wasn't that. That might have actually helped me get it. But what it actually was is, right, it's, Joe made a point to me. What did they do before there was sun cream? What did the cavemen do? They didn't need a. Uh, they got burnt. Yeah, oil. Oil, wasn't yeah, it? That's, yeah. that's why we have rumours. It's not rumours. No, I reckon, I, reckon, I reckon cavemen probably put a bit of like charcoal on them blocks. <laughs> no, but what do you think about it? Or maybe they just stayed out the sun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah no, the they stayed, that's, that's why they're cavemen. They stayed in the cave. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Henry, what game do you want to play? Well, 30 seconds to name as many Chinese dishes as you can. Shane first. Well, Shane, as many Chinese dishes as you can. Can the sides of that be counted? Or yeah, just anything, anything on the menu. Right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, chicken chow mein, sweet and sour chicken ball, uh, shredded duck, can it? Is that with you? Shredded duck, right? Uh, Don't ask us, keep talking, mate, come on. Special fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> Have I service in? White flag, man. White flag. Come on, Sean. Oh, right, here you go. Five seconds there. Three, three, two, one. Yeah, I don't. Would I get five? Four. Only four points. Shocking from Sugar Shane the Pain Watson. Right, it's Joe. It's Joe's chance. Right, you got. You you're gonna beat four, Joe. Just look at your plate and just recite what you've eaten. Right, you're on Joe. Right, tell us when. Three. Two, one, go. Kung Pro chicken, Kung Pro prawn, uh, chicken chow mein, roast duck and aromatic duck and pancakes, uh, sweet and sour pork, sweet and sour prawn, sweet and sour chicken, freaking uh, uh, egg fried rice, um, uh, prawn balls, chicken balls, pork balls. Three. Uh, ribs, oh, um, pork ribs. Oh, ribs, he got that, he got that in his. <laughs> 14, Joe's a leader. So Joe's a leader. 14 points, and that takes the juggernaut to the top of the leaderboard, putting Sugar Shane Watson to shame. I'll open Joe's beer, is What? Oh, yeah, where is it? Yeah, what's it, man? Oh, right. yeah, give us oh a, what? Give us a, the bottle you still give me the extra strong one? <laughs> yeah, that's the one you like. Come on. Gee. The Duval was a flowing. A 9.5% triple hot beer, the beverage of the boss soldier. And now, it was Big John's turn. Three, two, one, go. Plain charming, chicken charming, beef charming, pork charming, egg fried rice, special fried rice, chicken fried rice, duck fried rice, sweet sour chicken balls, sweet sour prawn balls, sweet sour pork balls, pork, uh, prawns in black bean, beef in black bean, chicken in black bean, um, Singapore rice noodles, plain mixed veg, chicken with mixed veg, beef with mixed veg, um, Spicy pork, kung pao prawns, salt and chili prawns, salt and chili chicken, shredded chili beef, beef and black bean, no. chips, prawn cracker, salt and chili chips, curry sauce, barbecue Three. sauce, sweet and sour sauce, uh, char siu pork, Stop. Charlie style chicken. Uh, it's got to be like 30, right? Big John asserts dominance with a score of 32. Just a reminder to everyone that Big John is king. Let's we play that other game with the curry sauce, with the word association. Oh. It's word association. I can't eat cold curry. It's got to be no. Whoever gets it wrong has to have a spoonful of cold curry sauce. <laughs> oh, oh there it is. Oh, 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 there it
is. Oh, no, we've got to do it. So if you get it wrong, you get a spoonful. But if you get it wrong again, you've got to do two spoonfuls. Yeah, if you get it wrong again, you've got to do two spoonfuls. Henry's the, Henry's the judge, whatever Henry says. We only play it, we only play it five times, five games. And if you lose the first one, one spoonful. If you lose it again, two spoonfuls. No all right? Ripping. Five games, that's all we play. First round. All right, I'll start. Are you going this way? Yeah. Water. Too long. Oh, too late, too long. Oh, too long. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, you can see that. <laughs> too long. Do you know what? You said, you said water, and all I heard him think was, Joe Parker, Joe Parker, Joe Parker. <laughs> <laughs> a spoonful, you've got to eat it. Eat it straight down. A, 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 Why is it so solid? Because <laughs> it's congealed. It's congealed. That's, that's a good spoonful. Go on. I'll let you go. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Don't put your spoon back in. That's it. Well done. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, now like you start. You start. No, and you go around that way. Rainbows. Colours. Sunshine. Rain. Wet. Dry. Moist. Damp. Drop. Oh. 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 Drop! Oh, drop! Damp! Drop! You get a drop! It's oh. damp! Oh. Too obscure! Too obscure! Too obscure! Oh. 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 Teeth. Arse. Bum. Hang on, hang on. Teeth and arse. Teeth and Yeah, but hold up. Yeah, yeah, it's the funny part. Yeah, that's right. The parts are the parts are the Yeah, what's he going on about? He goes. Sit down, man. Wrongful stoppage. Yeah, wrongful stoppage. No, no, no. You get one warning. There's no warnings in this game. There's no warnings. You've got to eat it. You've got to eat it. And we start another game. So this is an extra one. <laughs> he can't stand it. He can't stand it. He had to do three the other time when he did his sick. Come on. Quick, you can't do it. What's this, what's this red sauce? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. sour. <laughs> That's what it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you want a prawn cracker? <laughs> How can you do that bad? <laughs> Johnny, you start. Duval. Foster's. Beer. Heineken. Spirits. Whiskey. Wine. Vodka. What a whiskey. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Not more than that, more than that. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's easy, mate. Hey, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> right, last game. Whoever loses this one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, get a big spoon, big spoon. We have one spoon in the middle. Whoever loses this one. One big spoon. Yeah, look, that is a big spoon as well, look. Oh, fuck. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a big spoon. Show, show the camera. Oh. Johnny, you're on your little spoon, aren't you? Yeah, I, <laughs> I reckon William's going to lose this one. Absolutely. First word, LC. <laughs> 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 go on, go on, Joe. Chinchillas. Chinchillas, I was thinking of tortillas, <laughs> and then it, it dawned on me that there's an animal, and then it was too late. He's done me. Right, pass me the spoon. No, no, this is the spoon. Fill it up hot. Can I put a chip with it? No. You put blue bell in it if you want. Right, this is what I'm going to do, right? Right, can I put it in the drink? No, 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 eat it twice. You've got to eat that. You've got to eat that. <laughs> 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 Come on, Johnny, you got to eat it. 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 Come on, Johnny, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, let's get a. tonight? Yeah, look. Number one boss soldier. Look at this. Joe's ready to rock and roll. Bah! Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, had been equipped with his new boss soldier gear and he was now available for deployment in the Bosch army. Welcome, General Joyce. And now, it was time to get on it. 
big time. Oh, excuse me. Here, Joe, look at the size of this Duval glass. This is juggernaut size, mate. It's massive. Cool, it's not that big. Not for the juggernaut. Fair enough. Bosh. Bosh. What the hell is that noise? So I think the cat's behind there doing the shit. <laughs> behind the tree. Look. Charlotte, they're saying. No, look. Look, come here, look, listen. Listen. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's getting in the cat litter. The bag of cat litter's there. <laughs> he's going to do shit, isn't he? Yeah, but can you just say it's not actual cat litter, it's a bag of cat litter. It's a bag of cat litter, but the cat's gone behind our real Christmas tree and he's doing his shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a worse than the is he in there? Here he is. Hello. He's finished. Oh, what's yeah. his fucking yeah. game? Bob out of his face! Chuck him out, Henry. Chuck him out. Chuck him out. Chuck him out. Yeah, put him outside. Put him back in. Fuck me, I feel sick. Give me my glass, I'm going to finish it off in that anyway. Thank you, Joe. Oh, no. It's not very fast. Spillage leakage. Duval. Duval. I thought it was Duval. Oh. No, you can't have that. You always leave a little bit. It's a gentleman's, a gentleman's uh, etiquette. No, right, that. Justin? <laughs> oh, <wrong. laughs> best chat up line. Yeah. yeah, best chat up line. Best chat up line. That's a good oh, one. Yeah. 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 I've been using it quite a lot because I've been going to quite a few nightclubs. Oh, oh. Right, best chat up line. Shane, you go first. I don't really do chat up lines. <laughs> uh, but if I did, I'd put you and I together. Oh. 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 I don't think we should ask William. Go <laughs> on, Will, what's your chat line? Um, try to think. Oh. Have you got a map? Because I'm lost in your arms. Uh. Charlie, what's your chat line? Oh, it's a very cringy one, but did it hurt? When you fell from heaven. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> did it hurt? Oh, what? Did it hurt? I just heard the first bit. Oh, did it yeah, did it hurt? Oh. <laughs> Go on then. Sorry, uh, I've lost my number. Can't feel it. I've got one. I've got one. Go on then. Excuse me. Uh, that man over there really likes you. Here we go. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Harry, what's your chat up line? I don't know, man. Are <laughs> <laughs> your legs tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> what? He's been, he's shooting company, he's on it. Yeah, he's been like, yeah. I've got, I've got to say, that Parker, Joe Joyce, Joseph Parker, what a fight that was. Because yeah, Parker boxed a good fight that night. You beat a good man that night. Do you know what I mean? You, bought, you beat a top, top man that and night. He, was, he, was, he looked shattered, and then all of a sudden that night. He got a fight. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Do you remember them? He's like, bomb, yeah, bomb, bomb. He hit me with two. Yeah. yeah. He blocked him, but, but he he's like got a big heart, hasn't he? You know, because yeah, you was yeah, you yeah. was yeah, he hit me some shots, you man. was pummeling him, and he come there. back. Yeah. It was like he was in the fight the whole fight. Yeah. Coming back with shots. You was always you was always <laughs> I thought like in front. Do you know what I mean? You was like stronger work, a bit faster work, but he was always in the fight. You're right. He was always in. Round it. always competitive. Yeah. 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 Every round was competitive, but Joe was on without looking through blinkered eyes. Joe was on. Joe was on top, but Parker was always there. Yeah. You know. And he, you just wore him down again, so didn't you? Hammer, you know? Hammer um, come out quite fast as well, didn't it? When you yeah, fought yeah. him, that's a good shot. Is that the big Romanian bloke? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That was at Wembley as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's where you was there, wasn't it? Yeah. Christian Hammer. Yeah, Joe, yeah Justin was yeah. there. And we had about 15 yeah. points. <laughs> that's when someone ran up them steps. Oh, that's <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the old Rocky. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, was, I got halfway up him and I thought, you know, I'm only halfway up, but I can't stop. Oh!
The most glorious of victories are those achieved against all odds and Big John getting up them stairs was near enough impossible but he did it and that's what being a boss soldier is all about. Johnny's now on cameo. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. I've had so many. But a lot of them now, all they want you to do is slag people off. You go on there, you go, you've got a f***ing shit haircut, you ain't cut the f***ing clothes and you're a c That's <laughs> half of them now, that's what you're doing. You oh. shit here and you're a f***ing ugly b****. I'm sitting right there doing all his messages. Charlotte goes, what are you doing? I say, I'm earning money, that's what I'm doing. Shane, you should go on it, the bloke with shit from Parker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go up to however you want, because I'll see Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Some people have, you, you know like James Buckley off the in-betweeners, he's a millionaire from Cameo. A millionaire. Yeah, Joe. Joe. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Joe Joyce, future heavyweight champion of the world had just been to Big John's house for a Chinese and a crate of Duval. Shane Watson was also there, but after scoring just four points in the Chinese challenge, he'd lost the respect of his fellow Bosch soldiers and he would inevitably face the consequences of his misdemeanor. Nonetheless, the names are in the book. Joe Joyce the Juggernaut and some ginger bloke. Bosch. Well, Joe, it's official. You are now part of the heavyweight regiment. Welcome. General Joyce. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, General Joyce. General Joyce, welcome. Who the f are you? Ooh, love me. Pathetic. Get out. Get out. Get the f out now. Go on. Sling your rook. Sugar Shane the Pain Watson had proved to be an absolute nuisance and a liability. He didn't belong here, so he was exiled back to Tenerife. The current whereabouts of Sugar Shane the Pain Watson are unknown, but legend has it, he's hunting down Joseph Parker in a quest for revenge, but I guess we'll never know. Bash. <laughs>